Okay, mate, tell us your name and um, all about your sponsorship. I'm Simon Louie, I'm the team manager for Cessnock Mitsubishi. We're the major sponsor of the event. Our team's mostly made up of our staff, so we've got myself, um, we've got a couple of our mechanics in the actual pit crew. Well, one of our apprentices' sons, uh, dad, sorry, riding the bike, and one of our apprentices riding the bike. I'm here with Steve Martin, he's going to tell us a little bit about um, Go Karts Go. Yeah, that's really good to have Go Karts Go supporting us here this weekend. Come and have a look at this. Look, there's the stickers on the bike right there. Um, I'm riding the number 99, my number, but a little bit of help from this guy this time out. Have a look. Come in, have a look. Aaron Morris is helping us out and uh, really looking forward to the weekend. I think it's going to be a really fantastic event. Hi fellas, can you give us your name and tell us about your team? Uh, my name's Brad Swallow. Um, my name's Matt Walters. We're racing for the Kersley Hotel. Uh, my name is Keegan Pickering. I'm a local to Cessnock and this year I will be competing on the Yes Optus Cessnock motorbike. I also just want to extend my thank you to uh, Sports Savvy Australia, Jekyll and Hyde, Ear Mold Australia, um, Dynamic Mining Solutions as well and MMS Engineering and also to the officials and the other competitors because you know it's just a fa fun family event. Um, um, and it just brings community together, so it's a really, really good time. Right, I'm talking to Chris Watson. Chris, tell us about your team and uh, what's involved there. My team is uh, Team 30. My teammate, my team partner rider is Luke Richards, twice winner. We've won it once and we've had two seconds, two thirds. Uh, together we probably have a bit of a show to bank podium again. But the key to your team, of course, is the rider experience. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot of experience, but I'm old. Um, my uh, partner's about 29, he's a multiple Australian dirt track champion uh, and a good kid. Uh, my name's Taylor Poole, um, my bike's a CT110 obviously, I'm riding today with Todd Kurtz who's a pretty good rider I hope. He's an international speedo rider which is really good to have one of them in your side. Been racing since I was 6 years old and yeah, I'm now 27 so 21 years I've been doing that and I've raced overseas doing speedway. I've been racing since I was 10 years old, so about 10 years now. I did start off in dirt track and transitioned into road racing. Won a few uh, state and national titles since then and have competed overseas. I don't do any racing or any training or anything anymore, but uh, I do two events every year, the Phillip Island Classic and this one, because I just love it. Peter Jensen, and this is Team Liam Roast, and sponsored by Kermont Auto Care and uh, the Wobbly Boots. And uh, this is my teammate over here, Tegan. So Tegan, tell us about uh, your experience with the bike and with this race. Uh, with the race, I haven't had any experience before. This is the first time here at the Posty GP. Uh, with the bike though, we've had a bit of experience. We've been um, trying to rebuild the engine because it was a bit rusty when we got it. So it's been lots of test runs um, around a little bit. So it'll be an interesting race. And tell us a little bit about what goes into a bike like this because it's not the sort of bike you're usually selling. Well, you can't buy them. You've got to buy them second hand for an auction and we've done plenty of that buying to sell the people to get make the event happen. They're a 30,000 KL posty bike and you to do what you can to make the best you can and uh, generally that means new clutches, uh, wheel bearings, sprockets, uh, brake pads, all the stuff that you need to be freshen up. And the engines are fairly bulletproof and they are very, very strong and get punished very badly. And you've just got to rip all the lights off and the blinkers off the back and a few different bits and pieces I guess and keep everything stock and standard. Oh, we've had it for a few years now. It's um, Nate's bike. We just... Yeah, have a bit of fun around home on it and do something different. You're confident about the dyno this morning that you're not going to be in trouble? We were down a bit last year and we haven't done nothing to the bike, so I'd say it'll be about the same. Why do you have a handful of tools? <laughs> well, I don't know really. It's our first time doing it and we don't know what's wrong with the bike, so we've got to fix it all. Mate, I'm Steve. Um, this is HVP Racing, our first year in it. Now, you told me earlier you're the bike holder. I just, yeah. And you're also the tool holder. What's going on with these tools? I oh, just getting ready for scrutineering oh, okay. so they don't have to pull it all apart on us. We can do it ourselves. Ah, uh, and you're confident you're going to get through under power? Yeah, we'll get it through under power. Yeah, more <laughs> under power than over power. You think you're going to be under the, uh, the power limit for yes. the uh, dyno? Absolutely. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I reckon we'll be close. We're hoping for 6.3 exactly. Two runs of 6.3, that's all I want. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. It's all standards, it should be, so. As long as everyone sticks to that, I think we should be fine. I think there's a few people that want to stretch the rules, but I think if you <laughs> leave, them, leave them stand, they'll be good. And what do you think your chances are in the big race? Oh, look, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we'll try our best, but it's just all about having fun when you're out there. It's just a big laugh.
stuff and yeah, it's just just about having fun and having fun with your mates and just try not to hurt yourself on the barriers, but yeah, just have fun. We'd be happy to get in the main event and just to have a go, but anywhere it'd be fun, just a bit of fun for everyone, it'd be great. Well, I'm hoping to just like, I'm hoping that Aaron, obviously he's like right on the money, he's still racing the Australian Superbike Championship, all that sort of stuff, okay. he can carry me through, so I'll do all the glory laps and he can do all the hard work. We just go out there, try our best, um, and whatever happens, happens, as long as you, you know, do all that you can, then that's all that matters, so yeah. Very average. <laughs> I'm not, um, this will be my second time in the race, but I've never rode in a race before besides last year, so, you know, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We'll see you on the day. <laughs> Try top five. Mate, if we can finish um, without coming off, we, we're more than happy with that. Well, hopefully just make it into the GP to start with, and then, yeah, hopefully we can lose place in the top sort of 10 or 15. Yep, the ambition is to, yeah, make the um, make the GP and be alive at the end of it. <laughs> and stay upright. Stay upright. And it would be good to win it. We'll have a dig, but we'll see how we go. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Won't be from lack of revs anyway. And you fancy yourself for a podium finish? I don't know about that. I don't know. We'll have some fun. Well, we'll give it our best shot. Yeah, we've got no idea. We're winging it. We're just winging it and uh, hopefully it goes well. We came here for one reason and that was to win this thing, so hopefully we can have a pretty good dip.